Good afternoon, welcome to the channel. I'm currently in Lustret at the Volks Marina, which is a huge facility here, housing up to 200 boats. I've just finished filming some footage of this fascinating vessel, which I've uploaded to my second channel, Yacht Boy. And on there you'll find the full walkthrough tour. What I want to do in this video is just take you aboard this boat and show you some of my favorite features on what is a truly unique boat that is currently listed for sale with the Volk Yacht Brokers. As we enter the main saloon, one of the first things you'll notice is the large windows. Here we've got the ventilation uh, for the air conditioning. Uh, again, headroom in this boat, not an issue. Uh, there's plenty of it. I also really like the way that the boat has been lit and just the interior set out. Obviously you've got the main saloon here, uh, but you come up a level, you've got the galley, uh, the well fitted out galley, got a very conveniently located dishwasher. One of the last things you want to be doing when you're cruising around is washing dishes. Uh, so obviously that takes care of that for you. Uh, I've got a fridge over here as well. You know, personally, I'm a big fan of this split level living arrangement. Uh, I think it's really nice. I think the way that it divides up the living area, um, personally, is one of my favorite features. But uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, over here, we've got the helm station. Traditional uh, dials on here as well. So if you're an analog fan, you'll love the helm uh, here on this boat. Over on the port side, I've uh, got a large area for your paper charts. If you prefer navigating using the traditional methods. Here's a question for you. Do you know what that is uh, and what it's used for? If you do know, let me know in the comments. Uh, we've got a starboard access door out onto the side deck. I'll take you out there in a second. And also a port access door. So yeah, for a boat of this size, there's plenty of space. Um, you know, you can easily entertain, you know, over 10 guests on this vessel uh, without being in each other's laps. Another feature that I really love on this boat is the canoe shaped stern, which is something you don't often find on a vessel of this size. Uh, you know, one of the benefits of having a stern that is canoe shaped is if you are in following seas, uh, then you're not gonna be having waves breaching into the cockpit. What I'm going to do now is take you down into the accommodation areas. For a boat of this size, the accommodation here uh, is really impressive. If you like to know how much storage you're going to have when you're staying on a boat like this, check out the amount of cabinetry up there. I mean, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight overhead lockers there. Uh, we've got an elevated bed as well. And if you want to find out obviously all the dimensions and everything else, then make sure you check out uh, my other video on the Yacht Boy, which is uh, where I've got the full tour. Again, something you don't often find on a boat of this size is not only a bath, but it's a jacuzzi bath. So if one of the things that you tend to miss when you're cruising is having a bath, you or your partner on this boat, not only do you benefit from having a bath on board, but it's a jacuzzi as well. Uh, which is a really, really great feature. To quickly show you into the twin single cabin here. You know, a lot of twin single cabins, you tend to find that the space between the top bunk and the overhead um, isn't particularly good. But on here, you've got plenty of space, both on the bottom bunk and on the top bunk as well. Again, loads of storage space. Great for extended voyages. I won't bother trying to pull that open with one hand. Uh, take you into what is essentially a shared bathroom here, and I'll show you the other cabin in a minute. Uh, his and her sinks, again for a boat of this size, not something you uh, often find. Really nice, decent sized shower as well. Uh, plenty of headroom in there. We go through this door without damaging the other door. And we come into another double cabin um, and it's a decent sized double bed as well. Uh, again, lots of storage over here. Let's open up one of these lockers to show you how deep back that goes. You've got the portholes here, you've got two portholes, so you've got some natural light coming in, but obviously you can shut the curtains as well if you need to. 
Uh, you know, for someone like me who, you know, I'm technically a digital nomad, as long as I've got access to the internet, I can work. Um, I really like this cabin because you've got a decent sized desk here. You've got more space to stow your electronics when they're not in use. But you can easily fit, you know, a chair under there and crack on with your work as you're motoring on towards your next destination. Over here, we've got a day head. Obviously a toilet is a toilet, but that is a very spacious one. And obviously comes with its own porthole as well. Another feature that I love and something that I often talk about in my videos, are Portuguese bridges. I love Portuguese bridges. I like the design and aesthetic a Portuguese actually lends to a boat. I'm gonna take you outside now and show you the Portuguese bridge on this boat. These doors as well, I mean, you know, this is a steel boat. Look how thick that door is. You're talking about two or three inches. We head forward and then we've got the uh, Portuguese bridge uh, with the door. Here we've got the skylight down into uh, the forward cabin, uh, which allows a lot of natural light in there. I like also the way that the hull slopes up towards the bow. They're really fantastic for sea keeping. I've not looked in here yet. I didn't look in here on my other video on the Opboy. Yeah, big old locker in there. This boat has been really well maintained as well, really well looked after. Of course, my favorite features video wouldn't be a favorite features video unless I take you down into the engine room, which is where we are gonna head now. You've got a flybridge on this boat as well, which you can probably just about see up there if you want to see the uh, full layout of the flybridge then make sure you check out the video uh, on my other channel now what i'm going to do is take you down into the spacious engine room this really is a large engine room especially for a boat of this size uh, you've got twin john deere engines down here and you've got two generators uh, one over there and another one here the generator has been running on the boat, so it's extremely hot, but uh, here we get a good look at the uh, John Deere engine and the shaft. The shaft is actually housed in an oil bath, which again, yeah, it's a really great feature. Um, you could probably turn the prop with just one finger. You know, lots of space down here. If you need to do any basic maintenance and coming down here is not a problem. And here we have a little lazarettes as well the vice over there on the port side so yeah as i say there's lots to love about this boat definitely one of the favorite ones that i've been on recently let me know what you think down in the comments if you haven't already please don't forget to give the video a like and also to subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you on the next one